10 of the most extreme cases of algae crippling our oceans and waterways. 10. Billions of mussels killed in Narragansett Bay, Rhode Island. The summer of 2001 was heartbreaking for most of the residents living in Rhode Island. A dead zone caused by hypoxia killed roughly 4.5 billion mussels, about 80% of the reef's populations. Hypoxia occurs when fertilizer or sewage spills into coastal waters, carrying phosphorus, nitrogen, and other nutrients. Fueled by warm waters and a lack of circulation, the nutrient rush causes algae blooms. When the algae dies, it sinks to the bottom and is consumed along with dissolved oxygen by bacteria. The fish, clams, and mussels die as a result. The scariest part about this whole situation is that mussels are supposed to help control the nutrient overload and help reverse the effects of the ocean's dead zones. But in this case, for reasons still unknown, they couldn't do their part. Here you can see a section of the beach covered with dead mussels. 9. Florida's algae problem seen from space Throughout 2016, Florida had some serious problems in regard to algae growth in bodies of water throughout the state. One problem, the 30 square miles of green algae growth that bloomed on Florida's Lake Okeechobee was seen by a NASA satellite all the way from space. This photo was taken on July 2, 2016 by the Landsat 8 satellite. Pollution in Lake Okeechobee isn't something new to the state of Florida. In 1985, 500 metric tons of phosphorus was dumped into the lake. From 1985 to 2015, the amounts of damaging nutrients went up and down, but always remained four times higher than the target set in 2000. The majority of the pollution comes from the sugar fields in the areas south of the lake. Phosphorus is what helped the South build a $677 million a year sugar industry, but the high levels are detrimental to the environment in such large quantities. In 2015, a scary 450 metric tons of phosphorus made its way into the lake. Efforts are currently being made to bring the alarmingly high levels down to a more reasonable amount. 8. Dangerous Blue Algae Kills Marine Life in Chesapeake Bay Alexandrium monoletum is a toxic blue algae that first appeared in the York River back in 2007, and since then the problem has spread and become a much bigger issue. In 2016, water samples showed that the algae had spread from Virginia Beach to the James, from York and Rappahannock River to the eastern shore. Some marine experts believe the devastation had spread even further. It may look beautiful when its bioluminescent glows bright blue when a boat or creature moves through the water, but its toxins pack a powerful punch. It may only cause watery eyes, itchiness, or nasal irritations to us humans, but to larval oysters, larval fin fish, and small crustaceans, the blue algae is deadly. 7. Ecosystems threatened in California due to blue-green algae in late 2016, California had posted danger signs at at least 30 lakes and reservoirs because of the rapidly growing outbreaks of cyanobacteria, otherwise known as blue-green algae. The biggest problem with blue-green algae is the high amounts of toxins found. Having toxin levels of 20 micrograms per liter would be worrisome to say the least, but the readings of the outbreaks reached as high as 150,000 micrograms per liter, which is terrifying. County health officials found microcystin, which is just one of the toxins toxins produced by the algae in a popular spot, Discovery Bay. If a swimmer comes into contact with microcystin, they will most likely experience symptoms such as dizziness, rashes, fever, vomiting, and numbness. The chemicals that kill algae don't come without problems of their own, since they can help promote different types of toxins. Environmentalists say, when in doubt, just stay out. 6. Blue-Green Algae Closes Utah Lake 2016 was a big year for the toxic blue-green algae. It was appearing everywhere around the United States, killing crops and marine life in its wake. In the summer of 2016, health officials closed Utah Lake after they found large amounts of the toxic algae growing on the water. At the time, the algae covered nearly 90% of the entire lake. The algae blooms contain a very harmful cyanobacteria that releases toxins that are dangerous to wildlife and humans alike. While it's almost always kill, while it almost always kills kills the fish and wildlife in the lake, cyanotoxin poisoning can cause a human to have a fever, headache, abdominal pain, nausea and vomiting, and in rare cases, even death can occur. Officials are warning locals that if they have harvested fish from the lake since July 10th of 2016, they should not eat the fish. I don't know why anyone would even want to risk it. 5. Thick mats of green slime cover parts of Casco Bay in Portland. 
Due to 2016's warm summer combined with a steady supply of nitrogen, parts of Casco Bay, Bat Cove, and Mill Cove are covered with a thick layer of the slimy green algae. The algae, called metaphyton, can greatly reduce the oxygen levels in the water, causing marine life living in both buried in the mud or in the water to suffocate. The cause of the increase in the amounts of nitrogen comes from wastewater discharges and runoff from farm fields, lawns, and golf courses that are being treated with fertilizer. Friends of Casco Bay executive director Kathy Ramsdale hopes that the event will help educated home and business owners to avoid or greatly reduce the use of fertilizers. She says they make your grass grow, but they also make algae grow. 4. Toxic algae bloom triggered by warm ocean blob along west coast. The warm blob, which was a mysterious patch of warmer than normal water, first appeared in the oceans off the west coast in 2013 and it remained around the same area until late 2014. The blob helped one of the species of toxic algae called Pseudonychia australis increase in alarming numbers and spread from fisheries down in Southern California all the way as far north as British Columbia in Canada. What makes Pseudonychia Australia so dangerous is the neurotoxin it produces called domoic acid, which can cause seizures and gastrointestinal distress and can sometimes be lethal. When a small fish or a shellfish eats the algae, the toxin is transmitted to whoever eats them, including humans. 3. Green algae bloom carpets the coast of eastern China. In 2015, 21,745 square miles of green algae, also known as the Enteromorpha prolifera, has blanketed the coast of eastern China's Shandong province. The algae had first appeared in 2007, but has increased in size and amount rapidly due to problems like climate change and the increase of seaweed farming in the neighboring Jiangsu province. The green algae may not be harmful to humans, but it can and will cause extensive damage damage to marine life and the marine ecosystem. Since then, a major effort has been made to clean up the waters. Scientists in China have created a weapon to counteract the devastation created by the algae, cold plasma. Cold plasma attacks and destroys dominant species of algae that cause these pollution problems in the seas, lakes, or waterways. The countermeasure is working extremely well. Perhaps soon they will help others experiencing the same issues in other parts of the world. 2. Rare Red Algae in Sydney, Australia Beaches near Sydney were closed to the beachgoers back in 2012 due to the alarming amount of a rare red algae that appeared off the coast of Australia. The thick red color is caused by a marine algae called Noctiluca scintillans and is often referred to as a sea sparkle due to the bioluminescence it exhibits. The algae may be naturally occurring, but that doesn't mean it's not dangerous to swimmers. The high levels of ammonia contained within the algae can cause skin and eye irritation and may sometimes result in a rash. It may not be a deadly algae, but it's certainly irritating and possibly painful. 1. Toxic golden algae cripples fish hatcheries in parts of Texas. Golden algae has been devastating Texas fish hatcheries since 1985. Since then, millions of fish have died due to the toxic algae. However, Texas has never seen so much devastation caused by algae until 2000 and 2001, when the toxic golden algae seemed to run rampant. Golden algae, whose scientific name is Pernesium parvum, lives in brackish water and in large quantities it releases a toxin called permesium, which disrupts the functioning of a fish's gills and causes them to suffocate after extended exposure. During the winter and spring seasons of 2001, toxic golden algae killed thousands of fish in the three Brazos River lakes as well as on the Diversion Lake in the Red River Basin. A few months later, in October of 2001, the algae killed even more fish in the E.V. Spence Reservoir, which is located on the upper part of the Colorado River. During that time, the toxic golden algae was spotted on four additional lakes throughout Texas, although no fish deaths were reported from those sites. Local authorities and wildlife and the environmentalists alike are all working on ways to fix the reoccurring issue, but are still trying to obtain a viable solution.